Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. It's about 1.30, 5.14, Tuesday, about 59 degrees. And check this out. I told you, when the sun came out, my batteries had come right up to peak. So they're all charged. They're just a little, the green light means they're trickled. They're trickle charging. The yellow light means that they're below trickle charge. And no light means they're not charging at all because I have no sunshine. All right, some people like carnage videos. So I pulled the stator out, and I mean, it is screwed. Look at this. I mean, it is just screwed. You can uh, you can kind of see some copper wire there. I and mean, look at look at look at that one. So, oh. Just and look at this, and all the way around. So there's that. Um, taking off the flywheel. Oh God! I I used my impact. This is a 14. That's tightening. Here's loosening. So I broke it loose with the impact piece of cake. Anybody could do that. This is the official flywheel puller. You thread it in. And once again, I already impacted it off. But just to show you, it comes right off. So here's the flywheel. Let me show you the carnage on this. Oh God! Look at this. I don't know, could you guys see that right here? Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out exactly what transpired with this. I mean, I thought that perhaps they did something. Oops, they did something with the stator. Here, we'll talk about that in a moment. And these bolts came loose. And one of those bolts got chewed up and got in there. Um, but I don't see any damage to the flywheel on the inside here. That would be all hammered up. Um... Then I was thinking maybe the flywheel itself got loose, but I'm not seeing. Oh God, I'm not seeing any damage to to this guy. This is all nice and smooth. The keyway looks good, and this all looks good. So, I mean, there are no chips on the teeth. This is the starter gear. What it does is it goes through the one-way clutch. This has got a one-way clutch, which uh, fires the thing up. And I'm not seeing, you know, all kind of carnage there. Even down through here, I mean, there's some small metal pieces, but nothing big. So, I'm not sure if they were already in here cleaning it up. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there's some small metal in there, but there isn't like a chewed up bolt. I would expect a chewed up bolt to do this kind of damage. Given what I'm looking at, I'm definitely going to put some uh, thread lock on this. There's probably some of you going, yeah, you think? Um, yeah, I think. I think I'll be using some thread lock. Um, so, I can't put this thing together until the flywheel comes. I ordered a flywheel. It's coming up from Florida, I think. And according to the posting, it should be here by Saturday. And given 
that I'm not going to be ready to work on this thing until Monday. Um, you, you know, obviously Saturday will work for me. Um, I have to work Saturday night. So theoretically, I can work on this thing Sunday. I'm probably not going to the flea market this Sunday. And the reason being is I am truly... I never thought I'd say this, but I'm uh, I'm out of spending money. I've uh, spent spent all my uh, my coin on uh, on the last my last hundred bucks went to you know that little wonder out there, her. So um, yeah, I'm kind of kind of reaching into uh, empty pockets right now. Guys, I gotta tell you, I, I had a good one, and I, I'm just thinking about it. I probably mentioned that one of the things I, I do is a hobby. I do a, a certain amount. I play with the market a little bit. I, I don't. I'm far from a rich man, but you know, I, I throw a few pennies in and out of that. I've um, with with the market this year so far, with the money I had invested. Um, one of the accounts. And too bad I didn't have a lot of money in there because when I tell you one of the accounts had a 20% return, you're like, oh my God, you're rich. Well, it's an annual annualized return of 20% for the quarter. Um, well, actually, probably closer to 25%. For the for the quarter, it, uh, it, it did very well. Or, or it was like four months and I got like 10%, a little over 10%. So I guess actually if annualized, I did 30%. But so I did percent, did like 10% and a quarter on um, actually both accounts did about 10% first quarter, a little over first quarter, you, you know, four months, let's say, um, January through April, the middle of April. Um, yeah, call it four months, call it 10%. So annualized, it would be 30%. So I, uh, I sold everything right i liquidated it, it all uh to pay some bills and i got all my uh buddies coming up to me telling me you moron you sold i just bought and i'm like looking at them going yo i made some money so i sold and they're all like you know you don't know what you're doing and uh the last guy who said that i looked at him and i said okay so you've had a halfway decent return recently what is your overall return, Ben? Oh, well, you know, I did 10%. I said, no, no, no. Overall. Add it all up and then tell me what your, your return has been. And at that point, he got mighty silent because a lot of these stock funds and a lot of these things, they'll tell you, oh, since the inception, it's up 30%. Well, is that an annualized 3% or is it 30% a year since its inception, right? And last quarter, you did 10%. Well, if you average like the year before that in with the last quarter, how did you do? You know, so I, I have all these experts uh, who want to give uh, stock advice. And I, and I smile, but my belief is just like when you're, you're gambling. If you got some money, you take it off the table. You don't let it ride. So quick philosophy lesson. Anyway. On this beast, I gambled, and it looks like I'm just going to put another 42 by the time I get done with, uh, with the, um, the stuff to hold the bolts in and some gasket material. I'm probably going to go with the Red Death, so even though I criticize it, obviously I'm going to end up using it. So uh, given that, I'm probably this is another $50 setback. My concern is, though, once I put the whole rig together, um, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that there's not more carnage I'm going to discover all over the place in this thing. I, I mean, I'm. Look at this. I'm, I'm just, I'm really, I'm really, really hoping that I, I I'm not going to have all kinds. All kinds more trouble. No like that kind. I mean, there's not a lot of space in there. I'm, I'm wondering what the hell, what the hell they fit in there to make that happen. That's just freaking scary. 
All right, folks. Um, I got to. Uh, I got to run. Try to get some more stuff done. Live, love, and have a great time. Remember, look your bikes over well before you buy them. That way you don't end up with these surprisers. Peppercat Keith, looks like you did better than I did. We'll catch you on the next episode of The Horde. Till then, live, love, and have a great time.